Hi there. Are you ready for another story? Because it's time for story time with Nona. And today we have a special treat. This book is in Spanish and English. So I'm going to read both. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> okay. Un Cuento del Mar. A Tale of the Sea by Alejandro and Sebastian Schnetzer. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. Un hermoso día de verano. Dos grandes arquitectos paran a la orilla del mar. Cada uno quer quería construir un castillo castillo. Cada uno quería que fuera el más maravilloso del mundo. On a beautiful summer day, two great architects went down to the seashore. Each one wanted to build a castle, his own castle. Each one wanted his to be the most marvelous in the world. And there they are. They both have the same idea. Ah. Menudo disgusto se llevaron al encontrarse. Oh. Qué mala suerte, se, du se dijo uno. Qué lástima, pensó el otro. Porque cada cual había pensado que estaría solo. They were disappointed when they saw each other. What bad luck, said one. Too bad, thought the other, because each had thought he would be alone. See, they're bummed out. All right, what's next? Mm. Como no había otro remedio, se pusieron a trabajar. Caruno estaba convencido de que de que su castillo sería el mejor. Seeing that there was no way around it, they got to work. Each boy was convinced that his castle would be the best. There they are. Look at those faces. I'm going to be the best. Okay. Trabajaron muy duro hasta que los dos castillos quedaran terminados. Eran magníficos. Tan magníficos que las gaviotas de la playa se acer acercaran a mirar. <laughs> they worked very hard until both castles were finally finished. They were magnificent. They were so magnificent that the seagulls on the beach came to look. Oh, check it out. <laughs> También salió a, a mirar un cangrejo y no le gustó nada lo que habían construido en su playa. Corrió hacia un, uno de los castillos y lo derribó con sus enormes muelas. ¡Oh no! Y mío un, un arquitecto, <laughs> se rió el otro. <laughs> a crab also came to have a look. He didn't like what they had made on his beach <laughs> one bit. He ran up to one of the castles and flattened it with his huge claws. Oh no, cried one architect, <laughs> laughed the other. Look at that. See, there's a crab going and smashing the one, and the other guy's like, ha ah, ah, ha, bummer. <laughs> okay. What next? Diego car corrió hacia el castillo que todavía seguía, seguía, seguía en pie y también do... Let's start that sentence again. Diego... Corrió hacia el castillo que todavía seguía en pie 
y también lo derribó. <risa> Se rió el arquitecto que tanto sabía llorar. ¡Oh, no! Gimió el arquitecto que antes se había reído. <laughs> Then the crab ran to the castle that was still standing, and he flattened that one too. <laughs> Laughed the architect who had cried. Oh no! cried the architect who had laughed before. <laughs> yeah, so they both got him smashed. Bummer. Okay. Tras lamentarse un buen rato, los dos arquitectos se pusieron a trabajar de nuevo. Esta vez mi castillo será más fuerte, se prometió uno. Esta vez mi castillo será más alto, se juró el otro. After sulking for a while and exchanging dirty looks, the two architects got back to work. This time, my castle will be stronger, promised the one. This time, my castle will be taller, pledged the other. Oops. There we go. Oh, I didn't show you the picture, sorry. <laughs> There we go. Look at them. Oops. There they go. Oh, goodness. Having trouble with that. There we go. Yep. And they both are trying to build it so much stronger. Okay. Next page. Pero, por más que lo intentaran, los castillos no resultaron ni tan altos. But try as they might, the castles turned out neither taller ni tan fuentes, fuertes, nor stronger. See, they tried, but they still fell down and broke. Los dos arquitectos volvieron a mirarse con cara de pocos amigos. Sin duda, hubieran preferido trabajar solos. The two architects exchanged dirty looks again. No doubt, each would have preferred to work alone. Mm. There they are. They're like, yeah, I don't want to work with you. Mm. Levantaré una mura, muralla para no verte nunca más, dijo una. Desaparece de mi vista, contestó el otro. I will build a wall so I won't be able to see you anymore, said one. Get out of my sight, answered the other. <laughs> They were not playing very nicely together, look at that. They were being very competitive, I think. And not playing nicely. Okay. Y así fue. En, entre ellos creció un mu, murala, muralla muy alta que no les dejaba verse. Sin embargo, los dos grandes arquitectos se preguntaban sin cesar, ¿Será mi castillo el más hermoso? la playa and that is how it went a tall wall grew between them though they couldn't see each other the two great architects both continued to wonder will my castle be the most beautiful on the beach hmm. now they're working and they don't know they don't know if there's just going to be you know going to be the best or not okay y como no pensaban en ninguna otra cosa, los dos arquitectos no se daban cuenta de lo, de lo que ocurría a su alrededor. And because they were so consumed by their thoughts, 
the two architects did not realize what was happening around them. What do you think is going to happen? Hmm. They're both so busy trying to beat the other guy that they don't even realize what's going to happen. Ninguna, ninguno notó que un gigantesca olo azul se acercaba. Brrrrum. La ola rompió sobre la playa y no deja nadie en pie. En pie. Neither realized that a huge blue wave was heading towards them. Boom! The wave broke on the beach and left nothing standing. Yikes. Oh, man. Just trash their, trash their sandcastles. That is a bummer. Oh, man. Los dos grandes arquitectos se, mir se miraron de nuevo. Pero esta vez sin odio. Estaban tan tristes. A nadie le gusta tragar agua de mar. The two great architects looked at each other, but this time not with hatred. They were so sad. Nobody likes swallowing seawater. Oof, it's so salty. And there they are. Oh, now they're really bummed out. Fue entonces cuando extendieron sus brazos y se estre estrecharon los ma las manos como hacen todos los grandes arquitectos. Hmm. Then they reached out and shook hands like all great architects do. Yay! <laughs> they decided to be friends because they both had to deal with the same thing. Hmm. Comenzaron a hablar y decidieron trabajar juntos para constru yeah, construir un único castillo. Un castillo realmente alto. They started talking and decided to work together to build one castle. A really high... Oh, look at that. That's cool. Huh. Realmente fuerte, really strong. Yeah. It's tall and it's strong. It can handle the waves. That's amazing. Realmente hermoso. El mar se sintió tan orgulloso de los dos arquitectos amigos que les dio un regalo, un caracol mágico. Really beautiful castle. The sea was so happy and proud of the two architect friends that it gave them a present. A magic shell. There it is. Magic shell. Because they finally decided to work together instead of against each other. Hmm. Entonces jugaron hasta el atardecer. Nunca se habían divertido tanto cuando oyeran a sus padres llamándolos dolas, se marcharon de la playa con la promesa de volver a verse pronto. El sol ya no estaba, pero otras luces iluminaban el cielo. Then they played until sunset. They had never had so much fun. When they heard their parents calling them, they left the beach with the promise that they would see each other soon again. There was no sun, but other lights lit the sky. Look at that. How cool is that? So one of them, Isaac, this Jalil, I guess those are their names. We didn't know that before. The and what do you think? Cool, huh? 
I like that. That was in two different languages hmm. at the same time. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Check it out next time for the next story time with Nona.